Introduction to Scratch Well children, how do you express your feelings to your family and friends? Through language, isn't it? Language is a medium to talk or write. You may speak different languages, like Hindi, English or any other regional language. But to talk to another person, you need a common language, which both of you can speak and understand. In the same way, if you want to give instructions to a computer, you need to learn the language that a computer understands. A computer does not understand the language that we speak. It understands only a few special languages of its own. These are known as programming languages. A programming language has a set of instructions using which you can make the computer do an activity that you plan. So today, we will learn a simple programming language Scratch. Scratch is one of the easiest computer languages. Children can use Scratch to create their own games, animated stories and projects with great ease. Any task that we perform includes many steps. It should be completed step by step in a specific sequence. Likewise, a computer follows stepwise instructions to complete any task. The set of instructions is known as program. To start Scratch, click on the Start button. Then click on Scratch 2. You will notice the opening window of Scratch. Main components of Scratch. The various components of Scratch window are Title bar, Menu bar, Cursor tools, Block help, Tabs, Block menu, Script area, Block palette stage etc let us learn each of them sprite sprite is a small graphic character that performs actions in a scratch project scratch provides a number of inbuilt sprites cat is a default sprite stage it is the main working area where the sprite moves and performs actions as per the given instructions. Blocks Palette Blocks Palette contains the set of blocks, which are used to program the sprite and give actions to it. Each block performs a specific task in a project. Script Script is a collection of stepwise instructions that are given to a sprite to do a specific task. A script consists of at least two blocks. Script area Script area is a place where you create a script for a sprite to do a specific task. The script is created by dragging the instructions from the blocks palette and dropping them stepwise on top of each other. The script is also called a program. Let us create a scratch project to move the sprite in a circular motion. Open the scratch window. By default, the motion block palette is displayed on the left side of the scratch window. Click on the Move 10 Steps block, and drag it to the script area. Change the step number from 10 to 20 by typing in the number box. Click on the block. You will notice that the sprite moves the specified number steps. Click on the Turn 15 Degrees block. Now drag and drop it on the script area. Place it below the Move 20 Step block. Keep clicking on any block in the script area. Observe that the sprite is moving 20 steps forward and turning 15 degrees in circular motion.
Know about motion blocks. Move 20 steps. This block moves the sprite 20 steps in forward direction. To move the sprite in backward direction, type the number with a preceding minus sign. Turn 15 degrees. This block is used to turn the sprite in clockwise direction. Click on the pen block menu. Select the pen down block from the pen block palette. Drag out the block and place it underneath the turn 15 degrees block. Now click and pull the set pen size to one block onto the script area. Place it below the pen down block. Change the value 1 to 10. Drag out the change pen color by 10 blocks from the pen block palette and drop it at the end. Change the value from 10 to 20. Keep clicking on any of the blocks in the scripts area till the sprite completes its colorful circle. Know about pen block. Let us understand the use of pen blocks, which we have used in the project. Pen down. This block draws a line as the sprite moves on the stage. Set pen size to 1. This block is used to set the thickness of the pen to a specific number. You can change the thickness of the pen by typing in the number box. Change pen color by 10. To change the color of the pen, use change pen color by 10 block, making a duplicate copy of sprite. To create a duplicate copy of the sprite, the stamp block is used. Drag out the blocks from the motion and pen blocks palette as shown. Change the values of the blocks. Click on any of the blocks to create the duplicate copy of the sprite. Notice, as the sprite reaches to the edge of the stage, it will bounce back and change its direction. If on edge, bounce block. This block is in the motion block menu. It is used to turn the sprite in the opposite direction as it reaches to the edge of the stage. To save the project, click on the file menu and select save option. The save project dialog box appears. Choose the desired location where you want to save your scratch project. Assign the file name and click on the save button. Opening a saved project To open a saved project, click on the File tab. Choose Open option. The Open Project dialog box appears. Select the project you want to open. Click on the Open button. The selected project opens in the Scratch window. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.